Okay guys, I'm going to show you how uh, Builder Trend works from a subcontractor standpoint of view. Uh, we are no longer accepting any uh, proposals through email. Uh, everything needs to be done on Builder Trend. It'll make um, your life easier and our life easier as well. So over on here on the left hand side you can see the couple jobs that we're working on right now and I'm going to show you how to submit a bid um, for a job. So this specific job is Belmar Pool House. And I apologize, my computer is a little slow today, um, so just give it a second. And what we're going to do is go to financial right here, right? And we're going to click bids. And what you'll need to do is just over here on the right hand side, you'll see the jobs are all listed right here. And you can see if you've submitted them or if they're in progress. If it's in progress, we can't see it, so it's not submitted. So this one needs to be submitted. Um, but we'll do the Belmar Pool House first. So for this specific example, uh, this company is an electrical company, obviously. So they have the electrical, which is the rough and wiring, and then the electrical fixtures, which is the actual sconces and pendant lights and that thing. So we're going to go right here for electrical. First thing we're going to do, do you plan on bidding? The answer is yes. Please do that. We get notified, and then we know that you're going to be bidding on the project. The next thing you want to do is add your proposal right here. So um, I'm going to click add. Always put a proposal. Um, we do not want to just come here and uh, not find anything. So then you're going to attach your file. And then there's two other steps. I, for I actually forgot how much this was. I think it was $3,800. Oh, that's fucking sorry. Um, just going to go on a split screen to you real quick. It's cat and mat proposal. So, okay, let's just say I did make a mistake. So, I accidentally um, attached the wrong one. You're just going to go right here. You're going to go ahead and delete it. And then you're going to add it again. Browse my computer. Should be a cat and mat right there. Wait for it to upload. Go ahead and attach the file. I believe it was $3,800, so I can always view it. It is $3,800. So people are making mistakes on this one. Remember to change the quantity and the unit cost. So $3,800. And right now, if you don't put quantity, the, bill, the cost right now is zero. So make sure to put a one right here. Now your total proposal is right here, right? Go to the bottom. Don't click Save for later. Um, click Submit Bid. Are you sure you want to submit this bid? Yes. Okay. Uh, then when you go over here, you can see right here, electrical. Um, this is the attachment, or excuse me, that's the messaging. Uh, it was due in two days. You did say you're going to submit it. 3800 and submit it. So over here, we're going to go ahead and fix this. Remember, if it's in progress, I can't see it. So you're going to go to electrical. You did hit yes, so the yes, we're going to bid on it. 4800 the thing that's missing here is there's no proposal. So we would need to go in here and add a proposal so that we know what this includes for the 4800 And then you're going to hit submit bid after you're done. But first thing is this person needs to add a proposal and then uh, go ahead and start it. So that's how you submit it. You can always kind of see where we're at at any given time. Just go to financial bids. You can see all the projects you've been invited to. Those are the active jobs. And then you can see which ones you've lost, lost one. And you can also see a couple others. So like for example, um, this proposal was for Rosedale. Uh, it had been submitted, uh, but it has not been awarded. So at any given time, you can see where we're at with projects. So reach out directly, uh, directly if you have any questions. And I appreciate you guys doing this. Thank you.